All right, and I've, I have an OU rated battle for you. Endeavor versus Toxic on the first turn. I predicted a Hydro Pump or a Surf, but uh, turns out Boar is faster than his Polytoad. Next turn, I just go for Rocks, and he predicts a Switch and does a second Toxic, does nothing. Looking at his team, I don't sense much use for Boar anymore, so I just go for Earthquake to deal damage to anything. After Toxic damage, my Sash is broken, and he decides to finish me off with Scald. I sent Ghost Fighter out to set up some Calm Minds on his Polytoad, thinking he'd probably just use Scald or Focus Blast, uh, but it turns out he's a Perish Song Trapper. Which is pretty common in OU actually. I identify Polytoad as a threat to my team, probably sweeping him, so I go for Thunder to try to take it out. He switches in Feral Thorn, walls it off pretty easily. And so I switch in Blue Ranger to try to counter his Feral Thorn. Hoping he would just lay spikes or, you know, not use Power Whip. But uh, Blue Ranger has super power and with Choice Band can Oko Feral Thorn. He goes for Leech Seed. And he sends out Roserade to counter Blue Ranger. And Super Power deals a pretty nice chunk. And But after Leech Seed and Lefties, he's back to a little over half health. I decide to switch in Latias to wall an obvious grass attack. But he just lays spikes. I let a Draco Meteor loose to try to damage anything. And he switches in Feral Thorn again to waltz it pretty easily. So I'll send Blue Ranger out again to try to counter. And he does another Leech Seed. With spikes on my side, plus the Leech Seed, I'm down to half health. But I did get Blue Ranger in safely enough. So I decided to go for another superpower. And he protects the scout and get some lefties life plus leech seed. He switches out to Starmie and then I go for another superpower which does a pretty good chunk of damage and then I figure I can switch to Latias try to wall off the thunder and he just goes for hydro pump instead and it does really good damage. I figured he swapped because he must have thought he dealt max damage. And if he doesn't KO with or Hydro Pump or he misses or something, I'd probably come out on top. So I just go for Roost since I know I'm faster than Ferrothorn after he walls off my Draco Meteor. I didn't want to switch in against his Ferrothorn. So I opt to go for Roar instead. And I get a second Parahax. Pretty good. I got Starmie in. The matchup I wanted. But he does Ice Beam on me. I figured he was probably Choice Specs from his earlier hit. So he was locked in Ice Beam. And I sent in Ghost Fighter to try to wall it off. And it does pretty good. 17% damage. But I get frozen on the first freaking turn. And I have to go for plan B, just try to sacrifice him. And I get thawed out right away, so pretty good. I'm doing another calm mind. And now I've got a calm mind up. He switches in his um, Pharaoh Thorn. So I go to a substitute. And since he can't break my sub. He tries to go back to his Polytoad, but now I've got plus 2 on my Calm Minds, and Thunder should be able to take out Polytoad pretty easily. There we go. He brings out Azumarill to try to break my sub, which he does successfully, but um, plus 2 Thunder easily takes him down. And after that, he decides he can't beat the team anymore and he GG's out. With a 5% health Starmie, a half health Roserade, and Pharaoh Thorn and Satu, that was game. Turns out we have a pretty significant gap in skill level. He's like 
up in 1828 and I'm just 1569. But I think what turned the tide was failing to switch out Starmy right to Azumarill after freezing Jirachi. Going for that second ice beam pretty much hurt. I was actually having that battle while watching Ghost Fighter Yu Yu Hakusho. Someone pointed out to me before the battle that OU was cluttered with Rain Jirachi. I stumbled across this combo by accident by just tweaking my double weather balance team to a more focused balanced rain team. I needed a sweeper and Jirachi was just a poke I picked. I didn't realize he was that important to the team until the guy had told me Rain Jirachi was meta. You always want to start with the cheesiest combos first to test how well they work and then you know how to counter them then you can get creative a little bit. I think this proves that uh, Rain Jirachi is pretty dangerous in anyone's hands while being difficult to counter even by higher skill levels. 